Melbourne attack, Afghan drug addict driver held after car plows into Melbourne crowd injuring 19 including toddler. A second man filming the attack was also arrested as 19 people including a toddler were injured. An Afghan drug addict driver was arrested today after mowing down Christmas shoppers in Melbourne injuring 19 people including a toddler. Panic erupted in the city after an 4x4 plowed through the busy intersection, sending people flying before crashing into a bollard and being dragged from the car by cops. The 32-year-old Australian national of Afghan descent was known to police for driving infringements and a minor assault in 2010. Acting Chief Commissioner Shane Patton said, We don't at this time have any evidence or any intelligence to indicate a connection with terrorism. However, having said that we continue to investigate this matter with our counter-terror command to ensure that is the case. The driver was among two men arrested after cops swooped on the scene of the attack where scores of victims, including a toddler with a head injury, lay unconscious and injured. At least 19 people have been injured after a 4x4 mowed down pedestrians in Melbourne. A toddler suffered serious head injuries in the horror attack at around 4.40 p.m. local time today. Two men, aged 32 and 24, have been arrested including the driver of the white Suzuki SUV. Police have confirmed they believe the incident was a deliberate act but not linked to terror. The driver was an Australian national with Afghan descent who had mental health and drug abuse issues. He was also known to police for a 2010 minor assault incident and driving offences. The second man was arrested after he was found filming the incident and carrying a bag of knives. Terrified witnesses say bodies were flying through the air as the car plowed into crowds of Christmas shoppers. Fire services were also called to a reported gas bottle explosion in nearby Frankston though cops say it was not related. The tot was among 19 people injured in the horrific attack, while another man, found at the scene carrying a bag of knives, was also arrested. Police say several of those injured in the attack are in hospital in a serious condition and an off-duty cop was among those hurt. Footage taken by a witness shows a man in a white shirt and blue jeans being dragged from the passenger side of the vehicle. Another picture shows a bearded man in a red and black checkered shirt sitting on the ground with his arms cuffed behind his back. The second man arrested, aged 24, was collared after he was found filming the incident while carrying the knives. Amid the panic, Reports also emerged of a possible gas bottle explosion at a shopping center in nearby Frankston. Shoppers were evacuated from the mall though cops have said the incident is not linked and fire services are dealing with it. The white 4x4 appeared to have struck those crossing the Flinders and Elizabeth Street's intersection before coming to a halt near a tram stop. Witness Sue Nicola Edes told the Herald Sun, We heard this noise and we looked up then we just heard bang, 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 and people flying everywhere. There was just people on the ground, not moving people screaming, it is just like a nightmare. The intersection is one of Melbourne's busiest and is particularly crowded at this time of the year ahead of the Christmas break, with school holidays underway. It comes just months after a car mowed down pedestrians in Melbourne's busiest mall in January, killing six people in a non-terror-related incident. Although cops said 14 people were injured, Victorian Premier Daniel Andrews confirmed that 19 people had been taken to hospitals. Chris Gath told the age he was standing at the corner of the intersection when he heard screaming. He said, I heard it first and then I turned around and saw lots of bodies on the floor. I saw a car plowing into many people and bodies flying everywhere. He added that 60 to 100 people were crossing the intersection when the car traveling at what he estimated was 40 miles per hour headed for the crowd. I was a bit worried about myself so I got lots of people to run with me, and got families out of the way. I didn't know what was coming or how organized it was, whether it was a bomb. So I just freaked and ran. A man identified only as David today told ABC, I was crossing Flinders Street on the way to the train station. I heard an engine rev behind me and I heard a thump. I turned around and saw the white SUV streaming through the intersection and just seeing people literally getting thrown into the air as it hit them. Then it went through the intersection within a second or two and then went plowing straight into the tram stop where it came to a dead halt. Emergency services work on the injured while trying to control the crowds. Another eyewitness described seeing people the car hurtling towards the crowd. According to the AAP, a witness said the Suzuki was traveling at around 60 miles per hour. The intersection was full of pedestrians and he just plowed through, the witness named Jim said. The only thing that slowed him down was him hitting pedestrians. There was no braking, there was no slowing down. Whether it was targeted or whether he had a heart attack, or was drunk, I don't know. Another bystander told radio station 3AW, it just mowed everybody down, people were flying everywhere. 
We heard thump, thump. People are running everywhere. Police helicopters, fire engines, and ambulances remain in the area. Victorian police said forces and emergency services will stay on scene for the foreseeable future. The spokesperson added, the crime scene is active and will remain in place for some time. We urge people who can avoid the area, to avoid the area. Those with video footage or images which may assist police with their investigation are being urged to upload it to cops. Ambulance Victoria earlier said paramedics were assessing 12 people at the scene of the incident. Three people have been taken to the Alfred. Three people have been taken to the Royal Melbourne Hospital. A preschool-aged child with a head injury has been taken to Royal Children's Hospital in a serious condition. There are no further details on injuries or conditions at this time. The incident comes almost three years to the day after the Sydney hostage crisis, in which a lone terrorist held 18 people hostage in a chocolate shop in the city centre.